Hey, Weld at Heart Ladies. I'm in my happy place <laughs> where I teach paddleboard yoga and paddle fit in Burrard Inlet in Port Moody. Just give you a little view there. I just saw a school of fish and uh, the seals are behind me at the log boom. We're in Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> and I had a question uh, that I've been pondering the last uh, few days and thinking about my next post is what does it take for a female entrepreneur to succeed? And it's very similar to uh, male entrepreneurs, um, just that we happen to be in a um, male-centric uh, society, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way that things have evolved over time. And so we tend to align with the male model way of doing things. So that's why I wanted to make it specific to the female way or the feminine way. And it's a very vast, diaspora. Um, it's very diverse, but there is some kind of common themes to the feminine, so to speak. And so what does it take for feminine leadership um, for a female entrepreneur to make it? I think it's to be connected to your why and to have it come from a place that makes sense internally. So for me, it makes sense on the water because I can, it gives me access, an access point to that place internally where I can connect to, to my why. My why is uh, creating community um, that is expansive in growth and continual pursuit in personal self-development while feeding my family, literally feeding my family. <laughs> So a sustainable career that feeds my family in personal development and nurturing the growth of community and being a part of that community as well. So I wanted to share with you a tool that helps connect you to your internal place that makes sense, where things make sense, so that you can have your access point to your personal why. And that's done in yoga, it's done through the breath, through pranayama, uh, which is the kind of birth of all yoga uh, asanas and moves is the breath. So I'm gonna try and hold with a hand and demonstrate with the other hand, but I want you guys to use both hands. So it's a little exercise you can do seated in your chair or lying in your bed um, or taking a five minute break from work. We just connect to the body and we connect to the breath. So we start with the hands, both hands. I will only be able to use one hand because I'm uh, holding the phone with the other one. With both hands on your clavicles, so the collarbone there. And you're going to close your eyes, sit comfortably, and breathe into your collarbone so that you feel the hands rise and fall with your breath. So you're sending the breath from the nostrils, you're feeling it enter the nostrils, and it goes down the throat into the clavicles, the collarbones, and gently pushes your hands out. And when you feel like you've connected to that rhythm, which is going to be about a minute or two of this breathing. Then the next step is to take your hands now down to your lower ribs, both hands to your lower ribs. So again, sit comfortably and now direct your breath as it enters through the nostrils, down the throat, down the spine to your hands at your lower ribs and you'll feel the breath gently push the hands out at your lower ribs. When I'm talking, it's hard to do it simultaneously while I'm talking, but you get the idea of feeling your breath press the hands gently outward on the inhale and fall back in towards the exhale. Now you're going to take those hands, so that'll be another one to two minutes. You know, you take the hands down to the belly, just below the belly button, just above the pubic bone at our um, second chakra, navel chakra energetic center where relationships and love going outward and inward meld and meet. And same thing, close your eyes and spend a couple minutes connecting to your breath moving from the nostrils, entering from the nostrils down the throat and spine, gently pressing the hands out at your belly. Hope you can see that. When you feel like you've connected there, after a couple minutes, then you're going to take your hands to your lower back. And let's see if I can do that. There we go. To your lower back, right there. Both hands at your lower back, where you can feel your ribs there. 
and then do the same thing. This time it's going to require you, as you notice, each time you moved your hands down, you had to send the breath deeper down. So here, when you send the breath in from the nostrils, down the throat, down the spine, you have to go quite deep to, to have your hands be pressed out by your inhale. And you'll find by doing that just in five minutes, you'll be grounded and rooted into your own energy centers. All right, talk to you guys soon.